Hello, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. This is your man, Lamin Tamba. Good evening, assalamu alaikum. Um, I haven't done morning dose or afternoon dose or evening dose uh, for quite some time. That's because I didn't want to let the cat out of the bag in terms of the election results challenge. But I thought it would be nice to send this update to all the APRC, GDC, GAP and the independent candidate followers, supporters, partners. All Gambians, I thought it would be good for me to send this update to let people know that we're still opposing or rejecting the election results as declared by the IEC on the 5th of December. 2021. This is Lamin Tamba sending this message to all four of the GDC, APRC, GAP and the Independent Alliance. Uh, dispatching this message today in Lamin Tamba is ours one, Lamin Tamba is ours two, and Lamin Tamba is ours three. Ladies and gentlemen, as you all know, we in the Great Alliance, a coalition of patriots, we still oppose the election results uh, declared by the IEC. Uh, and the two major opposition parties, the UDP and the GDC, APRC, GAP and Independent Alliance candidate, we have reason to believe that this election that was held on the 4th of December was fraught with a lot of irregularities. And that's not just us voicing these uh, issues out. Uh, there are other observers, local and international organizations, who have also raised alarm bells concerns regarding the election results that were declared by the chairman of IEC, Ayumo Jai. Now, we all know what happened during the election. Uh, the election was dominated by Barouanese NPP and that dominated is in inverted commas. I put that in inverted commas because we still reject the results as declared by the Independent Electoral Commission. The difficulty is, uh, I cannot go into detail. <laughs> I'm, I'm tempted to share some of the information that we have, but I can't. This is why I've been quiet because the temptations to go into detail are just great and irresistible. So far, I've succeeded. After recording about three minutes, I've succeeded in not getting into it. But one thing I want to reassure the APRC under President Jame and the executive of the APRC, that although we're quiet outside, that we're not sending audio updates, we're not sending written updates, we are busy on the ground trying to set ourselves up for a potential rerun of Gambian elections, presidential elections. We believe we have enough in our hands. We believe we have enough at the moment to be able to at least call the courts to look at the evidence to question the manner in which the presidential election was conducted, the votes were tabulated, and the votes were declared. We believe we have enough evidence to be able to convince the courts that the elections that were held on the 4th of December 2021 were not held in the true spirit of democracy. That the irregularities were too great to an extent that the courts would order that we either have fresh elections or we have a total recount or we have some recounts in some locations across the country. Our wish is that the evidence that we will gather before an election petition is submitted would be strong enough to the point that the courts will throw out the declared results of 5th of December 2021. That's our ultimate aim. That's why we're working hard to try and show the case we submit to the Supreme Court is substantive. So substantial that whatever declarations were made by the Independent Electoral Commission, the IEC, 
will be disregarded and will go back to the polls. And if it turned out that our evidence is compelling, that we have real prospects of succeeding at trial, and if it turned out we succeeded at trial, and if it turned out that Barrow and his NPP and the government machinery were involved in what we suspect to be the case, we will take actions that will ensure no such thing happens again in the Gambian elections now and in the future. <laughs> so you can tell I'm restrained, right? <laughs> I'm talking with caution right now. I don't give away, I don't want to give away many things. Again, tomorrow is Tuesday, the 14th of December 2021. And it's likely I'll be going on Facebook Live, depending on where our election petition is. I do not want to preempt our election challenge. I do not want to blow cover on our evidence. And I do not want to give hints or clues until our challenge has been launched at the Supreme Court and details of it have gone public. I do not want to take the limelight of the two major parties of the UDP and our great AGGI alliance. I do not want to steal the show. I do not want to take the limelight. So I want people to understand that um, we are uh, preparing ourselves for a legal challenge against the Independent Electoral Commission. So the quietness is not... Uh, is not because we do not want to communicate or that we've given up since the election or that we do not have the energy or we do not have the appetite. Believe me, Lamin Temba is more hungry now, is more determined now, and the energy has not even started flowing yet. And I can tell you the APS executive and when I say the executive, it's the legitimate executive that's there now under President Jami. We have a lot left in the tank and we are ready to go again. If there was a presidential candidate, a presidential election again, or if there weren't going to be presidential elections again, the National Assembly elections, we are ready to go. We have suspicions as to what happened in Fonyi, Fonyi Jarol, Fonyi Bondali, and Fonyi Berefet. Myself, Lamin Tamba, has been involved. <laughs> I have been involved, yes, in the fact-finding mission in Fonyi Jarol, Fonyi Bondali, Fonyi Berefet. We won convincingly in Fonyi Kansala and Fonyi Bintang. And I've been told how the campaign teams in Fonyi Kansala and Fonyi Bintang absolutely blew the comp competition out of the park. Absolutely destroyed the NPP teams that went to Fonyi. I've also been told that the Fonyi Jarol, Fonyi Bintang, sorry, Fonyi Beref Bondale and Fonyi Berefet also did their utmost best, but we want to replicate the formula that was used in Fonyi Kansala and Fonyi Bintang Karanai. These two districts ensured no damage was incurred from our part as far as the presidential candidate or presidential elections are concerned. I am surprised that the NPP was able to pull that many votes in the four years. Again, I'm not surprised because I still don't believe that the election results that were declared by the IEC were the final and accurate results of the presidential elections held on the 4th of December, 2021. So to all the APRC, GDC, GAP independent candidate supporters, you guys done tremendously. Uh, uh, you have done a, a tremendous job, a fantastic job all through the elections. Your loyalty cannot be rewarded. Nobody can pay you for it. It's invaluable, it's priceless, and the Alliance appreciates it. Our managers, 
our polling agents, campaign managers, organizers, mobilizers, security, communications, speakers, cooks, uh, every single person, drivers, you know what, every single person has played their significant part in rejecting Adam Obaro uh, during this presidential election that's just gone. And I still believe, uh, the courts can prove me wrong, I still believe that this election didn't go in the right manner. I still believe that the results are not correct. I still don't trust the results. But, ladies and gentlemen, I'll reserve myself until tomorrow. We'll get to know more tomorrow evening when I go live on Facebook. I'll record it so I can share it in WhatsApp groups too. For now, take this from us, the new APRC executive under President Jame, under Deputy Party Chairman 1, Yaya Tamba, and Deputy Party Chairman 2, Honorable Abdi Jajo. We are not resting. We had an executive meeting. We put plans in place. And those plans, we would like every single one of you in the alliance to be able to support us in every way possible. You guys have done it during the presidential campaign. No, we started at nomination. And then we went into the presidential campaign. We went into election day. We all received the disgusting results together. We held together. We stayed strong together. Let's hold firm together. Let nobody confuse the members of the Coalition of Patriots, the AGGI, APRC, GDC, GAP Independent. These people have already started lying soon after the election results were declared. The NPP and the APRC supporters who left APRC to go and support the NPP have started going into communities in Fony and the Combos and across the country and telling the people who voted for Mama Kande that Mama Kande went to Baro to congratulate Baro for the victory and that Mama Kande has accepted Baro's victory. That's false. Mama Kande didn't go to Baro to accept the election defeat. Mama Kande never congratulated Baro to accept the 2021 election results. Mama Kande is opposed to the election results declared by the IEC. What the NPP are doing, they're sharing the 2017 videos and photos of Mama Kande when he went to see Adam Obaro in June 2017. That's not 2021. In 2021, Mama Kande of the GDC, our presidential candidate of the Great Alliance, the APRC, Gapan Independent, we have rejected the election results. So Mama Kande didn't go to Barrow to congratulate him because he doesn't accept the election results of 2021. So the photos and videos that were being sent, and they're doing it deliberately. They're not writing next to the videos or on their captions or on their Facebook or WhatsApp messages. They're not saying, this is a video of Mama Kande following his visit to Adam Obaro in June 2017. No, they're leaving that open. They're leaving that out of their post deliberately so that they can confuse the people. They went to Fony and other communities and told them to put the GDC flags down because Mama Kande has now accepted defeat. That is false. Mama Kande, APRC, GDC, GAP, the independent candidate, we've unanimously, collectively rejected the election results because we don't trust them. We don't believe. The results that were declared by the IEC were the full and final results of the election held on the 4th of December 2021. So therefore, my Fony communities, my Combo communities, my Nyomi, Eliasa, Jokadu, Badivu, Ajanjambure, Kuntaur, Base, Mansa Konko, please, ladies and gentlemen, we should be wiser than that now. The world has gone more advanced now. We all have WhatsApps, we all have mobile phones. Communication is a lot easier now than it was in the 80s, thanks to President Jame. 
if you get told something and it didn't come from the APRC executive or GDC executive or GAP executive or the independent candidate Nyang, please take your time to ask your executive members. Do not accept information coming from your rivals. Do not swallow it hook, line and sinker. Please take the time to investigate every single piece of information that you get given. Do not get carried away. We are smart and mature people. Do not get fooled by people who have absolutely nothing in common with you, especially traitors, people who betrayed you, lied to you, stood on public platforms, on st stages, swore by the Quran and by the Bible and lied to you in your faces, in broad daylight. Why would you take any word from these people? Why would you accept anything that they tell you as fact? Why can't you take your time to ask people in the great coalition of patriots, the GDC, APRC, GAP, and the Independent, take your time, pick up your phone, call us, any of the executive members, Yaya Tamba, Abdul Jaju, Bakar Saibo, uh, and every other executive member of the APRC, our Sanyang, Single Nyasi, Fode Chod, myself, just ask them. Ask them whether what you heard was true. Ask MC Cham. Ask them whether what you heard is true. Do not allow people to fool you easily. Sometimes when I hear people get confused over little matters, it, it, it just causes me. I just don't know what is wrong with some Gambian people. Why would little trivial matters just confuse people like that? One piece of information that came from your enemy. Your opponent tells you something and you believe it and you get confused. Why can't you say, all right, I've heard you. I'm going to ask our APS executive members, our GDC executive members, GAP executive members, Sheikh Matar Nyang's executives, executive members. Why can't you just do that rather than confusing yourself? Every little thing confuses our people. Oh, my God. But anyway, let me stop here. When I go live tomorrow, we'll get to know a lot more. And I'm going to analyze uh, audios of some of the executive, ex-executive members of the APRC who were dismissed by President Jang. Some of them released some audios. They went to interviews and they were talking rubbish, basically. That rubbish I'll totally send to the landfill when I go live on Facebook. Thank you very much. Today is Monday, uh, the 13th of December 2021. And this is your man in Lamentum by his house one, Lamentum by his house two, Lamentum by his house three. All other fora, Roots Defenders, GDC fora, Kafote Kafo, Rescue Gambia, uh, Reconciliation, Hardcore, Kosamai, Kansala, Fonyi Jarol, No Surrender, No Stress, and all the other fora that's been fighting to salvage the Republic of the Gambia, to save the Republic of the Gambia. We've been together strong as the No Alliance Movement. We stayed together strong as the AGGI Alliance. We're going to stay strong for the sake of the Republic of the Gambia, for the sake of President Jammeh, and for the sake of the APRC. This is Lamentamba. Have a very good evening. Thank you. Bye.